here we are on Google Earth and we are in Italy and this is Milano. And just uh, as we zoom in, you'll see here that this is quite clearly an old world city. This is what we look at all the time. And I can see this just, just from looking at it. Now, when we zoom in, um, a big uh, giveaway is the street pattern. Um, it's what I call higgledy piggledy, right? It's there's no straight lines down here. They just go everywhere. See all curved roads, you get these funny angles and triangles and see how they're just all over the place. So it's not a grid. So the old world cities are not a grid. Um, look at that. Now, is that a jail? Uh, that's six sided. Um, so pentenary is just for a side bit. A pentenary is called a pentenary because five, it was basically shaped like this, but with five arms going out, as in pent, five uh, penitentiary. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, so this is an old world city. So you can just see that the, it's not a grid. Okay, look, they've even drawn in the border for us. So I'm thinking if we zoom down in here, what have we got? We've got the canal. Okay, nice. So we've got the canal. You will notice these are all man-made edges. This is not a river. It's not a natural river. This is man-made. Um, of course, you know, excuse Google Earth for the, you know, clearly non-photo, whatever it's doing to these buildings down here. Um, yeah, so man-made canals. Uh, we have stuff like this. All right, these, these shapes in the ground and these parks with funny buildings in them. Uh, there was some good one. Where did I see it? Up here. Looks like an old, uh, yeah, like an old palace. Look at that. We've got the two massive towers up the front here. Huge um, fountain. There's always, always water associated with these old world cities, obviously with the canals, but also, you know, fountains. Uh, you know, water running down steps around stars, you know, star forts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, look at the size. This is the door. Okay. <laughs> look at the size of this. Now, is that a fountain? Let's go have a closer look. And of course, the uh, the belfry up here, right? This tower up here. All right. So here we are. Now, this is obviously a photo. Look at that. And can you see these holes, these very, these equilateral holes that making up these squares here. You see that a lot in Northern Africa. Um, huge door, of course. Well, I mean, just a, a hugely oversized building. And yep, there's a fountain. So you can imagine how big that fountain is. and. You can see all the sprays here. Now, this is an old world fountain. This was here, you know, when the city was, was built, you know, basically, um, which, you know, we don't know when that was. It wasn't when they told us. But there's a lot of piping under this, a lot of, you know, to get the pressures right, to get all these things pumping, to keep it going. I mean, that's a lot of work just for one fountain. And that's something they never talk about is, you know, the fountains and the plumbing systems that are under these old world cities, but what we are starting to discover is the tunnels, right? They are everywhere under every old world city are tunnels. All right, so the Belfry, and again, it, it, it's a bit of a shame, but this is clearly not a photo. Like you can't even see through the windows. This is just, you know, um, Google, I don't know, recreating stuff, but on the top, uh, we have our, you know, ether antenna, ether aerial to draw in um, free ether energy. I uh, can't quite see if there's a, it looks like there's a ball there and a ball there. These, um, as far as we can tell, are filled with mercury to amplify the signal. This is a resonator. The belfries, of course, we, we can't see in that. Uh, they may have been spark gaps to again increase the, uh, you know, the current. And then basically it goes down through here, through systems and gets, these were probably holding water. So they could have been used as batteries. 
Now, so this whole old world city, the whole old world setup, it was all set up to run perfectly and to run for free. And look at the size of this building, right? Because look, look over here. Uh, these are one, two, three, four story apartment buildings. And they just look like nothing uh, next to this tower, right? This tower is almost as big as that whole corner. Uh, and of course, you know, old world cities, and you get lots of these in Europe where they give the false story. It's all Greek or Roman so that they um, they don't knock them over, which is good. So we get lots of this old architecture, of course. Oh, here we go, right? Got our always, always got the arch or the arc. Uh, now there's a lot of speculation that these may in fact be horseshoe magnets. Okay, so when we look at this, uh, obviously that the whole shape in general looks like a horseshoe magnet. Um, you know, so were these part of the grid, right? In all the old stories, armies always march through these, these arches or these arcs, right? The arc and the spark. So uh, yeah, we're still working out what these are. Another thing about these arches, and these are all over the, the realm as well, everywhere. A, a lot of them have been moved, unfortunately, but, but there's still a lot of in their right position. And what they do as well is they line up um, solar phenomenon, like you know the sun, the moon, certain stars. And so they're also tracking um, celestial events. So basically all the old world buildings were, were multifunctional. Okay, so um, to be have a look around, I've had to turn to Street View. Now look, again, this is just something about Google Earth, right? They tell us, yeah, yeah, it's there to show us, uh, you know, the realm, right? But look, these are clearly not photos. <laughs> look at this building. Look how bent the front of it is and this, right? I mean, and look at these cars, right? Look at this. These are just bits of information that have been stuck in there. And then if I change to um, ground uh, street or ground view, I think one's ground view and one's street view. See now, now we've got actual photos. Isn't that bizarre? So I don't know what's going on there. Um, but these statues, right? These statues, I can't zoom in in this. But when you've got the photos, you can't get around that well. Um, but these are all brass. Now, look at the size of them. They are massive. How did they get them up there? How did they get them up there? Because all these, you know, arches, they tell us, all built in the 1800s, which would have been a feat in itself. But, you know, they didn't have cranes. This is what we see all the time, right? We see these big uh, buildings, which we're told are palaces and you know, things like that. Uh, they're always, we've always got these lineal alignments and you can see that, that this would line up. I would guarantee that this arch, the archway down here would go straight through and line up with that archway. And yep, there's a doorway there and no doubt, yeah, it goes straight through. See that? Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a door there. There is a door there. I can't. Can you sort of see it there? It's hiding there. Um, this gateway here and this, right? So these would all line up, go down here and line up with this. These probably line up with other markers. And then we've got this massive boulevard, right? Uh, let's have a look. What is at the end of this? But some geometry in the ground. Um, oh God, it's not giving me the best view, sorry. But this looks like like almost um, some kind of a junction point, right? So is this to do with dispersing energy or something? We're not sure. But look, this just keeps going. Down through another, uh, what have we got here? Another bit of, you know, gematria, half circle. And so all these cities, and look where we end up. At the end of that big, big walk, we end up here all right um, and then a bit more behind that um, it's not a fountain but look at this thing all right so again middle door and the door on each side just like we had on the arch um, these these columns are a bit bent 
so yeah so you can see this is all to do this is actually you know like a, it's an electrical circuit is what it is okay so again now we can see here see these two buildings on the side now they've changed the look of them a bit but if we go in you'll see they've both got these rounded bits at the back all right they've put uh just different roofs on them really they've changed the pitch height and put this square thing in but look at the front of them they're the same building they're replicas of each other they even joined so this is you know it's like the two buildings we saw on each side of the arch this is part of a big grid and oh my gosh what is that um wow Okay, so look, this, this, gosh, this line keeps going, right, into this. And of course, we see um, this, this shape and constructions like this everywhere. They're in the Vatican. They're everywhere. Um, again, part of the machine. Now, this, what, what that looks like is some kind of, um, like, magnetron. You know, you can imagine if, if, if these pillars were different, were, you know, magnets of different polarity, you know, it would spin, you could spin energy through there. Um, you know, so we're not sure how they were working all this. We've got a, like, basically we've got a pyramid here, right? It's a little step pyramid with a big dome on the roof. And it's even got, look at that. Look at these stairways going straight to the top, just like, a South American step pyramid. You know, so they build these things and they tell us, oh, it's just architectural, it's just for, for looks, but th this has all got meaning because this is, I'd say this is a newer building. I don't think that's old world. Uh, but let's keep following this line. Now we come up to this, another part of the grid. Okay, this looks like it had water in it. Um, so it may have, you know, sent the energy up to fractal the water. I'm not sure if that's what it had in it. Let's go have a quick look, shall we? Oh my gosh, this Google Street View is horrendous. Look at this. Let's see what we can get here. No, that's all it's going to give us. So I'm not sure what this is. That's what, yeah, this is what Google gives us, right? Look at these. Are they how? What are they? So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Um, are these, how would you get in? I'm not sure if these are houses or if they're cars. Um, if anyone knows, let me know. Um, and then we've got these two very tall, very thin houses here and nothing else. Um, I, I don't know, see, is that a house? It's very hard to see. don't think they are and I think yes yeah, so I was because if that's a house then that's a giant house but I don't think they are it's a bit hard to tell but uh, let's get back to it okay so just turn this around around where were we going up all right we may maybe at the end of the road nearly so I've just come up to here and we keep going another half circle and where do we end up? At another half circle. And look, it's got a gate in the front right, for the energy to pass through. Again, look, buildings on each side that are identical. Right, they just, and these as well. Okay, is that got a cutaway? There? Yeah, got a cutaway there too. So they've done like a bit of, bit of difference on the roof there. But so this is the same as this, and this is the same as this. And okay, I, oh wow, what is going on here? Is this all building? Look at that. So all connected up. Even this is is um, the same as this. Just perfect geometry symmetry. This is what we see in the buildings. So this is obviously some major part at the end. This is where the circuit ends. Um, in this house. I wonder what's underneath that little house. And of course, we've got the triangle here, cut off, and this house at the top of it. Uh, looks like we've got some water at the front, maybe. Can't really see. 
So yeah, okay. So that's a symmetry. Uh, oh, even, there you go. Symmetry or embrace. So all this energy, all directed at this symmetry. Now that that is weird, and that sort of tells you, you know, what these people who who like to try and rule us, you know, what they're into, right? Death. So that's what all this is. This is all a massive cemetery. So yeah, these are grave sites. So these must be like uh, mausoleums. Is that what they're called? Uh, and these are just all empty plots. But look at this. This is built all over. They put a massive graveyard, or you know, this is going to become a massive graveyard over this old energy grid that that we've followed all this way. I mean, look at the line. See it all the way, and then it splits in two here. And it comes back up to this in Milan. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.